Hey guys, this is Payday 2, the sequel to Payday, where you play as a gangster and you rob a bunch of banks. So you, or you steal diamonds and stuff. It's a very nice game. In Payday, you play as one of four guys. You can play four players online and you, uh, you, you complete different heists. It's pay basically, it's Heat the video game, mixed in with a little bit of Left 4 Dead. It's like Left 4 Dead, and you combine the the class kind of thing that Killing Floor has, where uh, you pick, you can pick a class and you can kind of level your skills, and it was pretty nice. the 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 first game had a major problem with uh, level progression. It, progression. You you had I think it was a max of like what was it 88 levels or something. It was like three trees or four if you downloaded the. Uh, well, it's not even a tree, it's like a stick. You just go straight down or you level up and stuff. Four classes you could level. And it, you, had to, you, you had to play for like hours to, and before you started to unlock different guns. Like the levels indicated... So if you, if you play, if, say if you wanted a shotgun, you would have to level like the, the, uh, the enforcer class. You have to level up to like level 10 and then you can get the shotgun. You have uh, skill trees now. Uh, they unlock different skills. You can actually mix and match your skills. Like you can see here, I have like 10 in Mastermind. And I got like uh, 2 in Ghost, because you know, you can get more money that way. And then Mastermind, you get more EXP. That's all I care about is leveling my guys. And then you can just respec later. So that's my general plan for now. So you can see I got Fast Learner. And then, uh, and then over here I got Ghost. And I, and I got, you can, you, you get different kits when you put in the one point, like you little, like if you pick Mastermind, you get a medical kit, Enforcer gets ammo, you know, blah, 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 blah. They, they improved the gun situation. Like I said, the, pro the problem with the first game is um, it took you forever to unlock guns. And then when you got them, the guns didn't really feel right. It always felt like you were off in aiming. Like the gun, like the... Like the bullets kind of went up and to the right, you know, it was really weird. Like trying to trying to shoot somebody is harder than you thought it would be. Now in this game, the guns feel way better. The guns feel like they feel great. It feels like you're playing Call of Duty. Like the like the the pistol doesn't feel like a pea shooter anymore. Well, now you got more pistols and more guns. But here's the problem: you when you, now. In, in, in your average, well, before I show you, in your average heist, I think the lowest level heist you get like 30,000. And it's really weird because it's like 30,000, and it, and part of it goes, and you can see right down in my, my character screen, like where you can see offshore account. And I have like $3 million in my offshore account. I'll get into that later. Most of your money goes in your offshore account, and then you get cash money that you could spend right away. Now, the, the, the cash thing I have there, you see, I have about. Uh, $146,000, that's the actual money that you could spend, and that's the actual money you could spend. Now look how expensive these guns, these guns are crazy expensive. Like, these are these are the first guns you get up here. And let's see, you're, the, the cheapest rifle you can get is $43,000. I'm like, I'm trying to do this, I'm like, this game, it's like... Payday could be great, but they always they always screw themselves. Like it doesn't make sense to the, that this gun is and the attachments. The, oh, I'm sorry. The, I gotta show you the attachments. The attachments are like, oh my god. Well, finally you buy the gun. No, I don't. See, I don't want to buy it. I think I sold it. Which gun do I have? Wait, am I buying or inventory? I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here are the guns I actually have. All right. Let's see. I, I see. I have a. Uh, Let's modify this gun. How much are the attachments? Silencer. Short barrel is cost more than the actual gun itself. Th this is what I'm getting with this game. Like, it's stingy with the guns. It makes you bust your ass to get a gun. And like I said, and, and these, if you, you don't even bother playing this game on easy, you'll be playing forever. And this game is... Oh, boy. I, it's hard for me to rate this. The first game, it's easy with bots? But it's hard with your friends unless you know what they're doing. Like, the bots in this game, in Payday 2 and 1, they take an abnormal amount of punishment. Like, they can get shot like a thousand times. They won't die. The only downside is they can't help you with tasks. And you start to notice this later on with more complex uh, heists. Like, you have heists where you... More, more commonly, you always have a drill. And you put the drill on the door, and the drill starts automatically drilling, and you basically kind of like guard the drill. You don't really have to guard it, but you kind of like stay alive while you're around the drill. 
and occasionally the drill will like malfunction. You have to go and like restart it. Or in other in, in the harder heist, you have to like hack something, and the cops will come and shut off the power, and you have to go turn on the power and then restart the hack. And it's much easier with two different people. But when you're playing with bots, your bots are like, doo, 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 but they, they balance that with the bots being pretty much indestructible. And also, when you die, your bots can raise you. Your bots can pick you back up and like raise you from the dead. But that's what I'm getting with these guns. These guns are like, it, you can see, I'm, I'm playing. I'm like level 19, which is like, I'm still new to the game. It's still, you know, this game's been out for a while. Actually, I haven't really played it. This is on my PlayStation 3. I got it for free on Plus. I actually have this on my PC. My PlayStation 3 runs it better than my PC does, but not much. This this translation on the PC, and you'll, you'll see some gameplay in a minute. If I'm not, I'm probably, maybe I might splice some gameplay in where I'm talking right now. It's, but this game, it, it, it stutters a lot. Um, you'll see from far away, if there's a lot of action going on. You'll see uh, the, the, like, the, you use this clipping, like the models are clipped, or the animations are clipped, to where the guys look like Gumby, like, and they like move over to you, and that's like when you're playing on the lowest settings on your PC. By the way, the the transition of technology required to run this crap jumped greatly from. I mean, you need to almost upgrade your computer if if your computer played Part One. It's no guarantees if it'll play Part Two by a long shot. I mean, this game it, it looks better. But it's not, it's like, this game's like an indie game. It's almost indie, I think. I think, was it, three, I think Overkill Studios and uh, 505 developed it? I don't even know those guys. I think they're indie, but maybe they aren't. The, I mean, it's like, it, it it's really weird, because you're, you're playing Payday 1, which came out, I believe, 2010-ish? Uh, well, I guess three years. I guess that would make sense, but this it's crazy leap in technology, like... You, if you play part one on the highest settings, it's like you play, barely play part two and stuff. It's all jittery and stuff. Okay, so so the offshore account. Now, from what I understand, what the offshore account is, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go crime net, crime net offline. Now, here is the general like mission select screen, and as you can see, different jobs appear. You can put your finger over them, and then they they appear on the screen for a little while, and then they go away. So then you can you can go down here like oh I can go to four stores it'll tell you how hard it is I mean like that's not really hard it's harder than it usually is you can see the little the little stars indicate how, actually how hard it is so even though like say four stars here four stores here on hard is still it's still easier than I'm sorry it's still easier than say a nor like a normal heist like say mall well it's actually the same as mall pressure because it's two stars well anyway forget it's bad example screw it. Now, here's where the Arshore account comes in. Like, let's say you don't see the job you like here. You go to Crime... This makes no sense. You go to Crime Net, and you can say, okay, I want to pick the job I want. Okay, okay. Available contracts to buy. Now, what criminal... Now, let, let me select this here. Like, let's say I want to do Firestarter or something. So I click on Firestarter. Now, you can see it says here... Offshore costs, on the upper right corner, it costs $700,000 to buy the contract. Now, why, if I'm a criminal and I wanted money, why would I buy a contract? Wouldn't I just say I would take the job for less money? Does this work in real life? Would you... Would you... It, it, it doesn't make sense to me, unless you were to say, well... The guy who's handing out the contracts doesn't want to give it to the lowest bidder because the lowest bidder might be the crappiest guy for the job. And so, in a way, in a roundabout way, you're paying money to buy influence with the guy to be or to be able to, to do the job. But that's that's crazy. That's like, I mean, wouldn't my reputation be enough? Like, wouldn't my 19th, 19th level like be enough to say, oh, well, like like, for example, in the uplink. Where you can't take on the higher jobs because you're a lower level and you need to like build up hacker cred in order to be able to take on higher jobs. Why? And it's three, it's three million dollars too. I really need that for guns. Like, haven't you seen like the gun? Like a short barrel costs a hundred thousand dollars. I need that. I need the money. I need the offshore money. It doesn't make sense. And the guns being expensive also makes no sense. 
I, I would assume that the guns are expensive because you never really have to take care of them. I mean, like, they, they could... I mean, guns in real life would break, right? Or you might have to drop it during a heist to say, oh, by the way, you can't pick up guns in Payday 1 or 2. You still can't pick up guns. It's just like, this game is really stingy on the guns. Like, it really makes you want to work for your guns. Not only can't you just buy whatever gun you want, you have to get up to the level to be able to unlock the gun and then pay for it. It's not like... I really miss uh, Black Ops 2 to where when you leveled up, you got a token, and the token you could do anything you wanted. Like, you can buy a RPG with the token, or you could buy, like, a super rifle with the token, or there's no super rifle, but you get what I mean. Like, you can get any gun you want with the token, and that was it. And you had to wait until the next level, and you got another token. You can use that token for this. And then the attachments are like, oh, you want attachments? Oh, you better prove yourself with this gun. Like, you got you to shoot from the hip five times to get the, the, the shotgun barrel or something like that. Now, this game is like, no, these guns are precious. You can't unlock any of these guns. You have to, uh, you have to play this game for five hours. So, again, this contract, I don't understand. It makes... In offshore accounts, this, why can't I have that money? There's got to be another use for the offshore account. I just haven't found it. Now, before we do this, we'll go into the safe house to where... Oh, before I do, you see my guys wearing a mask? You get to customize your own mask in this game. And, it, again, it's something like... You need, like, $50,000 to buy a mask. Oh, by the way, I was getting back to the gun theory. So I was thinking, okay, well... You have that much for, uh, money for guns because when you buy it once, you never lose a gun. You can only you can buy guns and sell them, and you when you buy a gun, you never really lose it. Even though if you might get taken into custody, which basically means you don't gain any money. You don't. I don't think you gain EXP. You just wasted your time, which is oh, I love that. It's so great, right? That's this game is like Final Fantasy XI on uh, first person shooters. Like, well, you die, you lose everything. There's like no brownie points for even playing this stupid game. Like, that's so great. I love that. I really love, especially the, on the three day heist. Oh, I want to play a three day heist where on the third day you get busted and you just blew like an entire hour of your of your gameplay doing nothing. Like you you you've accomplished nothing. That's so Final Fantasy. That's so that I mean that's like. And nobody plays this game, too. It's not even prestigious to play Payday 2. Like, oh, I'm hardcore. I'm playing Payday 2. It's not even like that. So you can see that's my mask. That's like the first... But the mask materials you get... I'll show you later. You get them randomly after every match. You get to pick one out of three cards. You play three-card Monty. And you pick a card, and like the card could be anything. And then first it shows you the two other cards, which are always crap that you want. Like either guns or money or experience. And say so I flip over a cart and I get like a mask and then I can make a mask. And then while you're making the mask, you're like, wow, this is going to cost me $50,000 $50, or I can really use to buy that next gun. It's like a mask is not even fun to make a mask. So here's the safe house, which is also serves as the first level of the game. You like go in your safe house and then Bane teases that you're, you'll be able to upgrade your safe house. But, like, that never happens, so don't even, like, don't even get, like, this is my safe house, level 19, it doesn't look any different from, like, a level 1's. Actually, this, the frame rate on this level looks really good, and don't expect it to stay this long throughout the entire game. So you can see, uh, here's the, the front, I mean, the, the false front. I was kind of hoping that it would be, like, a nod to Reservoir Dogs, but... They only really... It, this is really heat the video game. Really. Uh, let's go down the stairs here. Okay. Oh, I think my guy just has stroke. You see this? You see what I'm talking about? Look at this! Oh my gosh! Oh, and my guy has... <laughs> my guy, that's how a stroke feels like. You see that? If you want to go back to the exact same screen you did, you just go here and you do that. Um... Oh, I was... Wait, how how is that light? How is that light coming? You see what I mean? Like, how is that light coming down if there's no light there? God. Oh, I just walked on a brick wall and everything. Here's the money for my offshore account. See, look, this is. Th <laughs> Wait, is this the money I have, or is this my offshore account? I think this is the money I have. This is not three million. 
Yeah, because I'm casing. This is how bootleg this game is. Uh, oh, here, I'll show you the... Whatever this... This is like... Um, I don't know, but you can, like, look through... See, I can't even do anything. You... What's this ratty old couch doing down here? I have a three million in offshore banking accounts. Now, here's where you can go, like, to practice stuff. So, like, if you want to practice, like, lock picking, you could do that. Like, I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry, preparing mask. I gotta prepare the mask. No, okay, now... You can see I just put the mask on top of my head. You didn't see my eyes go through the eye hole or anything. So typically, this is what you do in the game. You're like, oh, no, I need to run... The, I need to open up this thing. And there's techno music, and then you go, oh, okay, the drill. And then this drill drills, and then eventually it'll, like, break, and then you have to restart it. And one of you guys goes, damn, the drill's broken! And, you, and that's pretty much the entire game. And here is the, uh, the shooting range. I shoot bottles. I got the Beretta because I really like. I really like the look and look and sound of the Beretta. You know, I never really fired one in real life. I'm such a nerd. I love this room. Give your weapons a try in here. Let's shoot. Crotch shot. Crotch. This is pretty accurate for the game. Like body shots don't do anything. You see that? But if I hit ain't hit in the head, boom, go straight down. That's that's the name of the game though. You have to you have to really get headshots. You can't kill you can't really kill anybody with body shots. So as you can see, like all uh, um, Left 4 Dead, you can see through. You can see your friends and you can see objectives through the wall. Like you can't see the drill through the wall until like the drill breaks. It's not gonna. It's watch. It's not even gonna break now that I'm showing you. I don't know why this brick wall is here. It's probably like some kind of secret or something I need to unlock. Yeah, I'll get to some actual gameplay in a minute. Whoa! So I, I guess this is the test if your build is able to go through alarms. Oh, here's where you can see everything. The camera. You can look outside. Oh, by the way, operating cameras is so annoying because no matter you can't like like for example like watch I move it down, and I move it up. I can't I can't leave it. I can only juggle it. It has to be moving all the way. You can't keep the camera still. That's the most annoying thing. I don't know why. This, this is the whole... This is the game in the nutshell. It's like, why? It's why the video game. Oh, you will be able to identify people if you can see on my cameras and like... Oh, you can zoom in and out. And all that. Look at that. Uh, and when you see people, they become like marked on the live screen, you know? I mean like on the video screen. You can see them through walls. Oh, see my... I think my drill broke. You... No, actually, you can still hear it. Alright, now, if anybody's played this game, they're laughing right now, because drills do not last this long. Drills use you... Or maybe it's this level, it won't break on the... Now, I, I assume the other symbols here are stuff that you could do if you unlock that cl class kit, because there's different class kits. So, like, if you unlock, like, the... The uh, lock picking skill, you'll be able to lock pick this. It'll probably be a little bit faster in the drill. Because the drill, everyone has a drill. Like, see, like, a drill, it just magically appears. Like, you've been, I've been, all this time, you even know, at the beginning of this video, I've been lugging around these two drills. Oh, guess what? Three drills. Oh, three drills going at once. Um, there's also doors. Oh, yeah, the, you can make your mask here. Here's my mask. That's literally, those are the first materials I got to make. I just wanted to make a different mask, so I made, like, a predator mask, I guess. And that's all I had, because you have to unlock all the colors and everything. Here's your mask area. Pretty self-explanatory. Also, you can customize masks like you can customize weapons. We'll hang all your completed masks right here. Yeah, you, I don't think you can make a mask. Oh, here are, oh, here's all the guns I bought. This is kind of nice. It shows you, like... Oh look how look how big your EP is. Oh see oh look 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 it broke. It broke. See you're not gonna have damn drill and you have to restart it. And it always takes longer to restart it. And meanwhile everyone's shooting at you and stuff. This is a realistic drill. This is normally what happens. You usually have to restart like every four times. And then oh oh I almost made it all the way. Anyway, screw that. I'll start a level.
so what I like about this game too is it shows they mix in a lot of like um, real time video or what is it called FMV, full motion video, whatever. In uh, a lot of, a lot of the portions of the game, I I really like that. Like I <laughs> I always mark out when they use like real people in the middle of like video game footage, you know, like. Uh, Road, Ra Road Rash 3D. I think that was one of my favorites. Like all the, it was like it was almost a full motion. It was almost entirely full motion except for the actual gameplay. So in, uh, you have assets here, and the assets make the job easier if you want. Like you can hire an expert driver, and because sometimes your drivers they they panic or they like if you you see when you first start a mission. You can either be stealthy and if you if you you can actually complete missions stealthily, like without alerting anyone, if you if you keep if you manage the people well, like if you keep them from like calling people. People people. What does this do? Back security and tell no, I'm not gonna do that. So Oh by the way, the music is from the same guy who did the music in Payday One that it's not nearly as good. This is probably my favorite track. The kind of like mission loading screen kinda. Uh, Simon, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Simon Vickland, uh, he also did the uh, music for Command, Con I mean, sorry, Bionic Commando Reloaded, or Rearmed, no, it's Rearmed, Bi Bionic Commando Rearmed 1 and 2, and I love his music, but this is probably his weakest soundtrack of all, it's n nowhere near as good as 1, and uh, not nearly as good as Bi the Bionic Commando remix, uh, so you can choose exactly what um, what loadout you want. I picked ECM Jammer now. See, because I picked Mastermind, I get the Doctor Bag, and I also have um, Ghost Unlock, so I get the ECM Jammer. ECM Jammer, you, you could use it to, like to jam one piece of equipment. There's Trip Mines, Trip Mines, and Sentry Gun if you're like a technician, and an Ammo Bag if you're an Enforcer. That's not usually how it goes. I like Doctor Bags, but um. I'm gonna go ECM Jammer for money, and this is this is a pretty easy mission. So. My contact thoughtfully stashed the thermal lance. You're going to need to crack the bank vault somewhere in the parking lot. Skip on. this. And um, the the auto aim assist isn't really all that friendly. All right. See now, this is the normal mode. Usually, you're just walking around. You're like, hey, bro. There's, I think that's Wolf. Yeah, Wolf and Huxton. So yeah, there were, I'm, I'm Chains, and then there's uh, Dallas, who's the leader. Now you don't really, you have to watch out, cause like there's secu there's cameras and security guards who will like make you. They're probably like, oh my god, look, he's a clearly he's an armed robber. And um, I don't know how to get in through here. Oh, wire cutters. Oh, I can't, I can't cut that. Whatever. And the AI is just, the AI doesn't really do anything, they're just standing there like minding their own business. I think I could pick something up here. That's probably the drill. So I'm just gonna put my mask on. So now yeah. if anybody sees me, they're gonna again I put the mask on top of my head instead of putting putting it fully on. So now I gotta Hook it up to the vault door, so now you can see my. I, since I have the bag on my on my back, my view is crooked, so that's really realistic there. So I'm just gonna duck and try to lock pick this. Now it's gonna take me forever, and you can kind of look around, but you can't like really look behind you. You see my AI buddies are just standing there chilling. They're not helping me. Now those key card things, if you find the right people, you can get key cards off of them and it's like a one time use you can unlock a door. Nobody sees me. Ah, screw it. How do I do this? Oh, you saw that? Hey, you can tell people to get down. You saw me smash that camera from like five, five feet away. This is not very stealthy, but I'm not a very stealthy guy. Now you can tie people down because they'll get up in the middle of a gunfight. And go, oh, don't shoot me! Like a not like a virtual cop. 
So usually you want to tie him down. You can also use uh, you can also use people uh, like if your friends get captured, you can use hostages. So like you can let a hostage go and bring your bring your friends back faster. Because I, I that really makes no sense, but that's how the game goes. It's like it's like Left 4 Dead when your when your friends die and they become locked in a closet. It's, it's that that alternative. What's that noise? Oh, that's the drone, what is it? What is the ass drone? And your friends do, your, I mean, your robot friends, these guys are my friends. They do a good job of, like, having your back when you call them and stuff, and, and they take a lot of punishment and they raise you, but that's all they really do. They never, you get, they can never do any of this complex crap. Oh, that door is open on the other side. Oh, well. And usually there's stuff you could steal within the heist to. Oh, money! See, that's what I'm talking about. You get money. Be still. You know, what I just realized. See, there's like a, there's like a ghost gets a, there's like a skill that you can unlock or a perk that that nets you 10% extra money. Whenever you pick up money, that's kind of funny. So if I just pick this up instead of my friend here, I'd find an extra hundred dollars out of a thousand. It would just magically appear to me. The drill is down. Cops all over it. See, now, those dudes look like cops, man! Are you kidding me? Oh, by the way, if you shoot a civilian, you have to pay cleaner's cost? Oh, that's a cop. <laughs> I thought he was my buddy. When, oh yeah, when you when you shoot a civilian, you have to pay two thousand dollars in cleaners' costs. Which, again, explain that to me. Like, so in a hypothetical situation, that means I paid two thousand dollars to for a lawyer to say that I did. Wait, well, drill them! And see, now this is real. This is real. Um, payday where the drill immediately stops after I start it. Anyway, so I have to pay $2,000 for a lawyer like Bob Odenkirk or something like that so he can so he can uh, convince a judge not to convict me if I were ever caught of that, of murder? Is that the, the deal? Because when you get caught, you just get caught and you just go bloop and you just respawn like back at your place without like, you know. You, 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 just, you just don't get any money. What? Now, in like in Left 4 Dead, there are special cops. Like, uh, there's fa they're like, kind of like facsimiles of like the dudes in Left 4 Dead. Um, like the tank would be the shield, where you can't hit him from the front because he has a giant riot shield. There's, I guess, a spitter would kind of be like a. Uh, no, there's a liquor. I think, the, or the smoker. The smoker's to do with the tongue. The smoker would be like the taser guy. Sometimes there would be a taser guy and he'll electrocute you. That's pretty. It's a pretty cool effect, but it sucks to get hit by him. There's this. There's like a cloaker. Well, in the first game, I had a cloaker. I don't know if this game had a cloaker. I didn't see it. I haven't seen any yet. But all I've seen so far is the taser and the uh, the taser and the uh, shield. And there's snipers too. I guess they could be spitters. Out. This game is much harder than it looks. Actually, I don't know why. All of a sudden, I'm playing like a pinball wizard. Ah, oh, I ran the kneecap. So that's what I'm telling you about the auto aim. <laughs> and look, 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 another drill. Look, you drill again, and you watch this. This is really tedious. What's coming up next? Oh, this open. What's, what's this all about? What's this? Open the barrier. Open bandit barrier. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, it opened up this. Ooh. See again, it's the game of why. Why is this? Let me close the bandit barrier. Oh, it's stuck. You can't. You can't change that. Oh, because I broke the camera. That's so cool. It's white. Alright, now, 
I need to find the gold in one of these safe deposit boxes. So you have to sit here and pick the lock until you find the right one, the right safe deposit box with the gold in it. War metals. That, that isn't worth anything, so I gotta open up another one. Oh, what's this? I don't even. Oh, what? That didn't even take? What did I unlock? What is that? The Necronomicon? Oh, what? What is that? No, explain that. Is that. That's a sandwich? A half eaten sandwich in the. in the safe deposit box. Alright. I got enough what? Oh my gosh. Seriously, I couldn't miss any I couldn't miss. Oh Where's my backup? Wolf shooting at the wall here and Huxton, I don't know what he's up to. Now you now usually at the end of heist you could stay and press your luck and try and get more money or or uh, escape immediately and have a safer escape. And typically your escape is like right behind the police barricade. Oh, you can shoot. Check it out. Who wants to work on the bank where you could just shoot right through the glass and kill whoever you wanted? You can throw your bag in the back. And screw it because I'm about to die. And successful mission. It only took 20 minutes. 20 minutes. And this is like a, a, a three star out of ten. Oh, so my offshore account gets a boatload of money. I get f roughly forty thousand in, in take home. <laughs> Surviving crew one. And not enough to get twenty. Okay, excellent, perfect. Now here's a three card money. You pick what card you want. The other cards either money or exp, and you get helmet. Okay, maybe but there's money and mask. So maybe I got what I get? Mask. Oh, hockey mask. Yeah, it's not so bad.